Enjoy your nap, Marcus. Uncle Michael's gonna pick you up in a little bit. Sorry about that. So what do you say? Ten minutes? Alright. See you in a bit. Why does this have to be so hard? Marcus Dolan. I wish you were old enough to help me with this. Or at least so I could explain myself. Hey! Uh, who the hell are you? It's me, Marcus. What? Yeah, your son, just 20 years into the future. Oh, oh my god, you... You look so different. Yeah, it must be the new sweater. Must be it. <laughs> so, so how, how have you been? Can I get you some to eat? Yeah, I'm not capable of being hungry. Really? Yeah, that's the kind of the beneficial part of being imaginary. Uh, but the real me sounds hungry. What? The baby. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. You're always hungry. You never shut up either. Yeah, where did I get that from? Hey, don't you talk back to me, young man. You said you needed help. <laughs> yeah. Just this uh, stack of paperwork here is kind of st stressing me out a little. Ah! You need help shredding it. I can't do that. And why not? You don't have a shredder? Well, you know I don't. Somebody broke it. Listen, I apologized for that like a thousand times. I was a baby at the time. Just, I've never seen anyone shred their own diaper before. <sighs> you think that's weird? When I was 12, I tried riding a bike off the roof. Seriously? How would you even get it up there? I built it up there. You built a bike? Uh, when I say bike, I really mean a cardboard box. Uh, <laughs> you really are your father's son then. You know, one time, I rode off a cliff on only a water bottle. Mm, that doesn't seem right. Well, no water bottle boarding, it's real, it, like, it is awesome. I know what water bottle boarding is. I more or less meant the cliff. Well, I say cliff, but really, it was more of a hill. And when you mean a hill... Okay, I tripped over the bottle on the sidewalk. But it was a steep sidewalk. Yeah, I bet. You know, you are just as much a pain in my ass in your 20s as you are as a baby. I pride myself on my consistency. <laughs> you really have an answer for everything, don't you? Yeah, and that's always what my teacher said. But the problem is, that was never the right answer. This is pretty great. It can always be great. It can always be like this, me and you. Just stick around. Raise me. Is this what mom really would have wanted? You don't have a damn clue what your mother would have wanted. You never even got to meet her. And what? I don't get to meet my father either? You deserve a father who can love you with everything he has. And I can never give you that. And why the hell not? Because every time I look at you, I see her. You are everything that we ever wanted. Don't let me darken your door. Now, it's not what I came here now you're for. everything she's never going to have. No, it's not what I came here for. The day you were born was supposed to be the best day of our lives. And I won't hear you cry when I'm gone. It was supposed to be the I start of something amazing. Doing you wrong. <laughs> it's over. She just, she's gone I'm in an instant, and she's never coming back, and you took her away from A constant reminder of where I can find okay. her light that might give up the way is all that I'm asking for without her own loss of my love. Are you alright? Take it. Please. Just take it. So watch hey, the world tear us apart. Uncle Michael's got gotcha. you. Stoic mind and a bleeding heart. You never see my bleeding heart. <coughs> and your lights are shining on. I've been trying so long. 
Hold on, little guy. I've been traveling over so long. At least he's with someone that can love him for everything they have. A constant reminder where I can find a light that might give up the way. Is all that I'm asking for without her. I'm lost. Oh, my love, don't fade away. Oh, my love, don't fade away.